Let's go ahead and play the Dungeons and the Dragons. Y'all can't... Jesus, fuck. Why have I been muted the whole time? Uh, that's going to be on the recording because fuck it. Dude. Let's play the Dungeons did and you, the Dragons. I uh -huh. had been talking to you guys being like, but I did not realize I'd hit the mute button. This is my one beef with streamer mode <laughs> is I can't hear when I hit the mute button on accident. You were mm. muted on Discord. I, I was muted on cute. Discord. You were? Yeah, she was. I'm just blind. I was muted on Discord. Idiot. But I had been talking. Um, so this is Noob. this is the 10th okay, episode of the Chronicles it. in Telmora campaign. I don't want to hear me either. That's okay. That's why I don't have vocal reverb in my headphones. Uh, uh -huh. Our lovable band of chuckle fucks tonight is starring Harka, played by Norman. Hey, hello. Rex, played by Connor. That's an interesting book you've got there, Tess. <laughs> Sister, played by Shane. Hold on, what's in the book? What's in the book? What's in the book? Tess, played by Pyro. What is in the book? <laughs> Why does that read metamorphosis? <laughs> <laughs> Hand that over now. It's my cockroach wife, Ogtha. <laughs> what is this? What is this? This, this? this nice girl, she seems so nice. What? What's wrong? What? what what's Dallas? I've never heard of that city. Is that a detective book? I mean, that, that cover art seems a little uh, interesting. Why is there a random letter A on the legs? Go to jail. And Icarus, played by Nasir. Books are for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Icarus. Yeet. Yeet. All right. And when we last I left our the book as yet name. unnamed uh, party, they had come to the frozen tower in the bounds on uh, Collagios, and they got permission to enter the trials, although they knew that this one would be more esoteric in nature. Hence the puzzle music. Thank you, Shane. So, uh, <laughs> since I know some of my players hate puzzles, and some of my players love puzzles, um, yeah. everybody's gotta do something. You gotta, you gotta try something, man. You gotta try. I will, uh, basically, <laughs> in order to encourage everyone to I'm participate, drawing. if... I'm gonna throw Tess at it. I am, I yeah. am going to... I'm going to do something that we had asked Shane about during his mini puzzle campaign, where I'm going to allow, if you've truly, as a player, exhausted all of your thoughts on a puzzle, um, I will allow the character to make an insight check to kind of put the clues together. But in order to do that, everyone has to have actually tried to think about it first. Liv, you realize how head. dumb I am, right? I said you had to try and think about it. If you run out of ideas as a player, you run out of <laughs> ideas as a player. But, like, you can't just be like, nah, I'm gonna nope out and check out mentally. <laughs> if someone's knocking at your door, that's different. check out mentally. My mentally is checked out already. Yes, I'm mainly doing this for Pyro, who was like, okay, I'm gonna be checked out. I will beat <laughs> you into puzzles, my son. I'm not saying everyone has to contribute the same excuse. amount, but like I would have, I would like everyone to at least look at all of the puzzles. Well, I'm gonna look, and then I'm gonna go. Me. Yeah, I have no clue how the fuck to solve this. Exactly, that's fine. As long as you've actually looked and not just said puzzles, I'm not gonna do it. So, without further ado, I've decided that this is I've done multiple rooms rather than the last dungeon that was a very linear, structured, big one map layout. So each room has a map. There are six rooms. Ooh, cool. um, none of the puzzles are directly related, so you don't have to worry once you've solved one room that it's going to come up yeah. in another. Um, so I'm going to start uh, Icarus. Roll me a d6 to see which room you go in first. Part of me was really hoping it was going to be six puzzles that come together to form an answer to the seventh puzzle. Four. Okay. Like I'm a I know you're a crackhead, my love. All right, four. Uh. Okay. When you arrive in this room, you see several <laughs> large gargoyles. You may place yourselves on the map, but it doesn't really matter where you do. You see five large gargoyles. And 
above the uh, centermost gargoyle, or below below the centermost gargoyle, there is a locked stone door, and the gargoyle above it looks very angry. Each of these other gargoyles has varying emotional faces, similar to like think each one of them is a different one of the seven dwarves, but there's only five of them. But this one is grumpy. <clears throat> what do you do? Uh, are there nameplates on any of these? There are no nameplates. Is there any writing in the room? No. And you said they had distinct personalities? That, like that like in? facial expression personalities. Kind of think like expressive masks. Like if it's a sad face, it's a very exaggerated sad face. If it's an angry face, it's a very exaggerated angry face. Things like that. Can, can I get what the expressions are? That one's grumpy. So, mm -hmm. Angry. Um, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'll wait. My, my screen. Grumpy. Which one's angry? Th this one is angry. Grumpy like angry. Oh. Angry. Okay. That one's Norvin. That one's Norvin. Um, this one is crying. That one's live. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> You're, not <laughs> Sorry, Liv. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're very much sniper. not wrong. Um, this one is laughing. <laughs> Iro. <laughs> what if she actually did just make a... This one is squinting. Like, suspiciously squinting. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's the <laughs> face. This one is shocked. Like, wide eyes, wide open mouth, shocked, surprised. No, that, that one's Shane. Smoggers. Yeah, that one has, the, I'll, I'll say, I'll amend it. That one has the eyebrow. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's very, it's clearly a shocked eyebrow. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> Rex looking puzzled is going to look over, uh, wander up to this confused looking one, stroking his chin, trying to look at it in the face and confusedly try and look for more details about the clue, the puzzle. Above board, this is Connie trying to see if you make the emotion face towards it to set something off. So you're trying to mimic the face? Yes. Make me a performance check. Sixteen. You feel like you've mimicked the face pretty well. Um, it's not really a reflective stone surface. It's not like a marble. It's, mm -hmm. it's like... My brain is like, it's regular stone, but there's so many types regular of regular stone. stone. It's regular, regular stone, stone, basically. It's it's rough stone. It's not reflective. So you, you can't tell how well you're doing, but you feel pretty confident that you're mimicking it. But nothing and happens. nothing happens? Mm. Uh, thank you for whoever fixed the suspicious face. I could, I could not get my art to do that. My brother um, in Christ, that was terrible. I was about to say, Shane is very good at drawing the eyebrow face. Look, I did quick drawings on the other ones, and they did, got the job done. That one, I kind of biffed it. Uh, hmm. There doesn't look appear to be any levers or switches in the rooms on the gargoyles or anything, is there? Nope. Hmm. So if there's nothing we physically can touch to activate. There's got to be some action we perform that solves the puzzle. Uh, uh, can I investigate the door? How likely is it for me to be able to just smash <laughs> my way through this fucking door? Make me a perception check. Why am I stuck? That's why I'm stuck. Right. Low DC. Perception. Hey. You're looking at all of the gargoyles in the room, and you're looking at the stone door, and you realize that they're all kind of carved out of the same stone. And based on the sturdiness and stability of the gargoyles being the same stone of the door, this is probably a thick stone door. You gather that your chance of success is, uh, like, 1%. <laughs> Not even 5, huh? Not even 5. Nope. <laughs> Which means I can't roll for it. I wouldn't recommend it. There's a much easier hmm. way. 
So is there a handle on this door? No. How do we know it's a door? It has a keyhole. But it's it's got like one of those push oh. plates. It's a push door. There's the there's the better way to describe it. It's a push door. Okay. And there's a little lock yeah. hole on it. It's also so, okay, listen. On Incarnate, I didn't like how any of the doors looked because none of them are like <laughs> you're looking at it from head on. They all look like you're looking at it from the top down. Well yeah. So I was just like, well, then I'm not gonna put like it I just didn't like how that looked as a door. So mm -hmm. I'm not really putting like actual doors on any of these maps because it just didn't give the right kind of look for what I was picturing. But they're clearly doors. They are very clearly doors, yes. Okay. Mm. I'm going to look at all the statues, uh, see if they can be rotated at all. Make me a strength check. Which one are you trying to I'll move? Because they are different sizes. Like, this one is obviously going to be easier. I'm going to try and point smiley face Okay. at grump attack stick. Make me a strength check him. with advantage. 18. Um, you do manage to move it. These are unfortunately built into the map on Incarnate, so I can't rotate them. Um, mm -hmm. But let's say... <laughs> That'll work. Then I'm going to go up to Grump and get Grump to look at a... So Grump is on face. top of the door, so you can't reach Grump. Oh. Grump is on top of the door. Okay. So Grumpy is definitely fixed. Actually... Come on. Like, while I'm pushing it, do I feel like a click of it setting into place? No. <laughs> Does it feel like it's supposed to move, or am I just fucking... It, it doesn't feel like it's supposed... It doesn't necessarily feel like moving is part of the puzzle, but it, it doesn't feel like, you know, you're forcing it into an unnatural position. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, that's not that's not the answer. That's not the answer. Oh. We'll, we'll push it back. Oh, 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 yeah, <clears throat> thing's fucking heavy as fuck. <clears throat> Lily, do you have any ideas? Well, granted, it's coincidentally five gargoyles, five of us. I would assume we each have to do something with them. Did anyone but... notice any reaction uh, when I mimic the face of this one? Do you all think that might be the solution? Just have us all... What do you think? It's supposed to be some sort of combination lock. As in, you're supposed to... Pop will go up and look at the grumpy one and just kind of make a scowly face at it. Does he even need to roll? Every no. one of his characters is a natural RBF. He does not need to roll. It is a beautiful grumpy face. Sorry, I was making a joke about Tess ping-ponging, pain-balling around the screen. Um... <laughs> So you just make a face? You don't do anything else? Yeah. Nothing happens. I'll give it the bird, then turn away. Yeah, I'm tapped. You wonder, do you think it might be a phrase activated? Looks back up at the grumpy one. Oi, fuck you. Nope. I was really hoping that would solve it. Mm. I, hold on. Mm. <laughs> I have to think. Hold on. Tess is multiplying. Oh my god! Thing. If this hap if this works, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Boy, I have to think. Fuck you. <laughs> Lights up. No, it wouldn't respond. Touch nothing but the nope. hey, fuck with you the, guys. With that verbiage, it, it, you it wouldn't respond. The verbiage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fuck you up. Mm. Nope, no response. Sister's gonna go up to the sad one and remember something that she read recently. 
and put her hand on it. No. Get out of here, clone wretch. I'm gonna take <laughs> away control Moses. of your fucking token. Where'd you go? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's nothing wall. hidden over there. It's just off the screen. I, I think I broke the I think <laughs> you <laughs> are legion. What do you do while Tess is oh, fuck. group pinballing? I'm only holding one button. Tess is vibrating between planes. Oh shit, she's going to fight do, while sister again. Uh, while she is thinking of a not so fond memory of recent days, she places her hand on the gargoyle. Nothing happens. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter about your current line of thought. Walk in front of the front the sad one. Oh no, I dropped my cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> the DM god suddenly above you laughs, but nothing else happens. <laughs> I'm an adult with a home and a car and a mortgage, and when I drop a bag of my favorite chips on the ground, I don't cry about it. <laughs> I think about that mm. vine every once in a while. I know Liv's a big theater nerd, yeah. and I, I'm probably thinking about this too hard. It might be. But I feel like there's a... The, I, part of me wants to see if there's like a Hunchback of Notre Dame solution. Try it. Like gargoyles. But I don't know how you would... Stop fucking cloning yourself! Try something. Uh, I don't know what... Well, produce fire. Hang on, let me see what, if I have a cantrip to actually do that before. I don't think you do. I've got a, I've got a torch and I can druidcraft light it. Yeah. Does it respond to the heat? Nope. That was a heat Ah... Does somebody have detect magic prepared, or did I drop the ball today? <laughs> Oh, well, there's only one other prepared spellcaster in your group. Let's see. Paladins are prepared. Nope. Paladins are learned, yeah, aren't they? they? Are. No, they're not. They're learned. No. They're prepared. No, rangers are learned. Rangers are learned. Paladins That's what are I'm prepared. Of. I don't Sister think Paladins doesn't have detect, detect magic. magic Damn. Uh. Well, it, watchers might, but I don't think any uh, other paladin I, I would get. I think I've failed to fucking. Hmm. I think I failed to fucking change my spells at all, because I still have creator destroy water for when we're on the boat. Yeah. To be fair, we just got here. Or no, we, we didn't take a rest here, did we? we you did. can if you would like to, oh. to change spells. You haven't done anything significant we, with the spells that you have prepared, so I'll allow it. We we did take a rest. Um, That's the guy oh. where we could lay around. Pretty sure, anyway. If you want to have taken a long rest before undertaking this so that you can change spells, I'll absolutely allow it. You haven't used any spells right now so far other than cantrips, so. Nice. Uh, I would like to ritual cast to detect magic then. Okay. Um, Is there anything special? Nothing. I mean, I'll, the room's probably entirely nothing, magical, but. Nothing. Nothing. And then. I this one is magical. I would probably enchantment. Uh, it doesn't have a specific spell cast on it. I I don't think I'm not playing it like a specific spell. Magic mouth is illusion. If that helps, probably closest to that. So let's say illusion. Yeah. That's probably the one that's closest to it. Cool. Uh, but it does have the, gonna... the big thing is that that is the only one that's magical. Uh, Rex is going to stare at this one and say that this is the only magical one at the moment, and he's going to ask a question of it. Mm -hmm. What's got you so upset? I wonder if that's the trigger to ask him about why they're feeling the way they are. Nothing! Ha-ha! <laughs> Sorry, that was Connor. Good. Uh, <laughs> no, buddy, it's all right. You can just share with us. You seem to be perturbed. When you say you can just share with us, are you suggesting? Yeah, like a like a way a friend says, you can tell me anything. Go no on. No response. Go on. 
Maybe it's only answers to questions. I will say I used a, a specific word in there because there are there are two things that will garner a response from this creature. Or this whatever it is, whatever you want to consider it. It's not Why are you the only magic one in the room? How would he respond to this? So it is only questions. Hell yeah. Well, no, I said there are two there are two specific actions that will prompt a response from this thing. I'm just gonna say from the gargoyle. It's easier to say from the gargoyle. It's it's the gargoyle responding more or less. I'm just trying to think of how he would respond to that. Why are you the only enchanted one? Are you the only magical one? No! Hmm. What if he can only do one word responses? Why is this one happy? Points at the happy one. No! Why are you said, such a bitch? No! <clears throat> and when I asked what's wrong with him, he said nothing, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm. What's wrong with them? Nothing! Can you only answer in one word? No! Okay. So you're just a bitch. No! Do you, do you know how to open the door? No! Can you say something other than no and nothing? No! Okay, so he can only answer no. Oh, he's he's just negative. He's angry. He's just, he only gives negative answers, I guess. I have an idea. Tess! What would you like to I do, Tess? Up. Tess is just sitting there up on, on the, uh, the this one's head, the uh, uh -huh face. Uh -huh. just, I am the knight. Just holding, caressing almost, an arrow covered in dynamite. I should have an idea. I don't really think that's going to work. No puzzle equals success, right? No. No! I'm so bored. Actually, you would get that. You're asking. No! <laughs> I'm so bored. I want to kill these statues. You have moved. In five minutes. If you can only give us no's. Can I ask the... I want to ask the gargoyle. Can we stay in this room? No! Yeah. Will you keep the door locked? No! Try and open the door. Or try and push it. Make an insight check. Locked. The Perfect. okay, it's not just that the only thing that he has said has been no or nothing, it's that that is clearly the only sort of answer that you can get from him is a denial. So, you don't necessarily you're not necessarily able to trust what he says no to. It's just that that is the only with a 25, you know, that that a denial is the only answer he is capable of giving. So, just because he has given you a denial does not necessarily mean it is true. So, I'm asking DM now. Is one of the two actions to elicit a response, ask it a question, and then there's another one that yes. elicits a response? Ask it a question is the one. one. The other one is also verbal. Oh, okay. I was going to wonder if the other one was... Uh, they are both verbal. Active. It is... Mm. Ask a question make it or make an insight check because you have seen you've seen someone carry out this action. Buffering. Twenty one. You gather from what you have heard him respond to, the only two things that will prompt a response from the gargoyle are to ask him a question or to give him a command. Like, tell him to do something. Not suggest, but to tell him to do something. 
That's why I had to think about fuck you is because I was like, technically, you're not telling him to do something. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I am. Go I fuck yourself. Him to fuck you. But fuck you is you're saying that as your action. She's got a point. If you said go fuck yourself, go fuck would've... yourself would have garnered a response. Open the door. No. Keep the door closed. No, and the door opens. <laughs> That's easy. Mm. Push it open. No, the door like swings open. Oh. Ow. Oh. Parka catches, says, "Keep uh... the door closed," and it, the gargoyle says, "No," and the door swings open. Hey. Da -da 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 -da. I grab little. Uh, On the way out. Little Don't monkey backpack. Suck a bag of dick. Say that again. <laughs> Don't suck a bag of dicks. No. <laughs> It's not actually going to be able to do that one, but it is saying no to everything. Good job. So what were the point of the other ones? Decoration. Okay. Throw you off. I am the knight. Okay. I didn't what want to have just one little... gargoyle in the room, so I was like, I'll put some other gargoyles okay. in there. That's fun. What's the, what is it called? The little, like, monkey backpacks with the tether that, like, little kids will have when they're running around? Child leashes. Yeah, I've got one of those on test, and I just can't. Come on, we gotta go. Okay. Uh, Next rule. Roll me. Uh, I started with Icarus. Uh, Tess. Hey, Norvin solved it. Norvin, Norvin solved, solved it. it. Norvin, roll me a d5. Give me a sec. I gotta order pizza, too. That is so that valid, is though. One. Listen. Okay. I now that I've moved you in there, I'm going to, just for my own ease of stuff, Ooh, archive the gargoyle it's... room. No. Shiny. No, 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 no. I am hmm. justice. I am the knight. Hey, let me... let me describe this room for you. This room contains a four by four grid of tiles on the floor with five statues around it and a raised dais at the south end with uh, 16 crystals on it. You only see four, but there are 16, four of each. Each of the statues is looking down a rank or file of the grid, and the crystals are grouped into four different sizes. You should see the tokens of them over here. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are four of them that are large, four of them that are medium, four of them that are small, Stoku. and four of them that are tiny. Can you see the labels on each saying what they are? Yes. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure this is just a token. Keep going. What do you do? Hmm. Was there any inscriptions or writing? Uh, there is a statue above the dais up here. Mm -hmm. The open book is actually there. Would you like to read it? Yes. It reads, and I'll copy paste this as I go. Now, before you read, there's you say there's four crystals. There's only the ones on the map, but there's four of each. There are four of each. There are, uh, you all should have access to a folder that says crystals. Yes. I'm just going to go ahead and drag all yep, of them out. Go ahead. I don't know why I didn't think of doing it that way. That works. Um, but yes, there are four of each. Butter. These are mainly just... Yeah, we figured it out. Uh, da -da 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 -da, what okay. was I able to do? So then reading okay. the book. So the first one says... Uh, there are five lines. The first says... Corvax the Bold, Defender of the Peaks. Show him three crystals, and his might shall preserve thee. The next says... Atalan the Steadfast, Guardian of the Basin. Show him four crystals, and he shall keep thee safe. The third. Tarafa the Wizard, Keeper of Secrets. Secrets. Show her but one crystal, for her magic has might enough. The fourth. Shrum Gonthar the Silent, Watcher of the Grave. Show him three crystals, and he shall watch for thy passing. And the final. Mun the wise, hoarder of knowledge. Show her two crystals, and she will advise thee. There yeah, is an inscription on below on oh. the dais. Oh, what does the inscription on the dais say? Okay, hold on. Let me reformat this so that <laughs> it's pretty not in uh, obsidian, but in the thing. There we go. Set each, uh, set each crystal in its place, but you must realize no crystal stands upon a line with others of its size. 
Each hero here must see their lot, and not one more or less. Conceal the small behind the great to make them acquiesce. And you do notice, just looking around, that each of these statues has a small uh, nameplate. That you can look so at to put, see who is who. So if you put a crystal of a smaller size behind a larger one, the statue only sees the biggest one. It goes up until it sees the biggest Correct. one. Correct. Okay. Uh, which one is Corvax the Bold? Which statue do you look at? Uh, we'll start with this one down here. Okay. We... Token layer. Mun. Mun the Wise. This one? Token layer. You like expand the map to grids to the right? Like, I mean, just, we're back just to the map in. size to no. get them off the statue. We're about to move them anyway. You can put them wherever you want. What's this one? Like, down here. Oh, this one, sorry. This one. I was looking at the token, at the crystal tokens, sorry. I don't know why that name didn't... Right now, I'm mm -hmm. going to be no help in this puzzle. That's okay. Oh, these are the type of puzzles I just brute force. I love this. I, I think I, as soon as I get the names, I should be able to solve it myself. Unless anybody wants to help. Okay. Cool. cool. There's all the names. All right. Starting with Corvex the Bold down here facing up. He needs to have three crystals i'm just gonna mark on the map so i i can mm -hmm. yeah, take to make this easier uh adeline needs four shrum yonthar needs three mun needs two and tarafa needs only one hmm. this doesn't seem that difficult I wonder if we have to put every crystal out, yes. though. Ah, there it is. I wonder whether there's four of each, so we have to put all of them out. Okay. So... Probably be safe to say... I'm just... That a large goes there, so... be there. So that nothing else, no matter what else goes there, uh, and then... It should scale up for the four. Uh... I don't imagine the way this puzzle's done uh, that we're going to have the same size in a row like that. Um, no crystal stands upon a line with others of its size. Gotcha. Uh, so if we put small there, medium there, that's three. Uh... So this one, we need three. You can't. The small's right there. Uh, you gotta put the tiny down there. I will... Uh, uh, That's the point. Uh, Tess puts a crystal in her mouth. Tess what? Uh, no. G give me that! <laughs> And this one has to be the medium right here because the only one I can see is large. Yep. Uh, you just went testing gnawing on one of the big crystals. <laughs> they're on the blanks yeah. then. They're, they're all satisfied now. Uh, so small, tiny here. Uh, it's rock candy. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Tastes like magic. Chop, 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 chop. What is it? What was it called in? Uh... Da, 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 all right. Da, da, da. Let me see. Let me double check. Uh, so the top row to. is large, medium, small, tiny. Yep. Second row is medium, tiny, large, small, from left to right, by yep. the way. Uh, third row is tiny, small, medium, large. Mm -hmm. And bottom row is small, large, tiny, medium. Uh, yes. Easy money. It doesn't matter where the door opens, it opens, and you are finished with this room. <laughs> A trap door. We all free fall. Sure. <laughs> no feather fall moment. The fucking took killer, though, as we break our legs. Hey. I'm just picturing the avatar free oh. Rex, roll me a d4. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Three. Okay. Four. Archive. Ooh. Oh, I thought those were books for a second. Uh, no. They're, they're, is it, they're rugs, but I'm using them to represent doors. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I see what this is. So there are three Fuck doors you, standing before you. 
and three shadowy figures look back at you, each holding a different object. One holds a geode, one holds a piece of parchment, and one holds a pair of shears. Mm -hmm. Below each of those is a keyhole. Parchment, geode, shears. My favorite game to play in the schoolyard. Boulder, parchment, <laughs> shears. He's just, he can't hold a boulder. Boulders are big, but the game is boulder, parchment, shears. The boulder, the boulder, shadow boulder is no longer the boulder cannot be held by a shadow. The keyholes person. look like they will fit a hand. Hmm. You know, hey. in Yu-Gi-Oh, hey. the shadow hey. realm was simply a metaphor for killing someone. Sending no. someone to the shadow realm was literally, I'm going to kill you. What are you going to do, you do you Send me to the shadow realm? The shadow realm? No, Kaiba. I'm sending you to the Bronx. <laughs> no. That's even worse. Is that, a, is that a knife? It's a pair of shears. <gasps> it's not actually what if I break there. Apart their knives? No, they're mine. It's, it's not actually there. It's not an actual object that you can reach out and grab. An illusion. It's on the door. I described it for you, Tess. I know, but I am interposing my reality. I saw the last one, so I'll let somebody else step up to try and solve this one. I. I touch the shears. I don't know. What do you do with the shears? Just hit. There is uh, there is a keyhole that looks like it will fit a hand if you put your hand in there, yeah. similar to the box in Dune. Yeah, I stick mm. my hand in there. And then do I what with it? The... I reach around. <laughs> I know, this is like the easiest. What do you do with puzzle. your hand inside of the hole? Make a fist. I flip it off. I make a fist. Even make a fist. Even. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the door lights up I will walk to the paper and make a scissors inside the hole or outside of the yes. hole the door lights inside up inside the hole he penetrates the hole we need I someone will... to do paper in the rock I'll step up and do paper hand did you remove your hands at any point no, no. good then all three doors are lit up simultaneously, and you I succeed in hand. the boulder parchment shears. I've seen the, I've seen the scorpion king. I lose my hand. No, you <laughs> Imagine don't. we put it in and it goes, nice try. Let's roll. Shing, large. No, he takes all our hands. It was boulder. It was rock paper scissors. Oh! It was boulder parchment shears. I'm so proud of you. Uh, what happens if we took our hand out? What? Did they just turn off? Yeah, or did it would just turn off. Uh -huh. If you had kept cards. doing it, I might have imposed actual consequences. Just power fisting the scissors hole. <laughs> power fisting, you say? Tess, roll me a d3. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't want to adore you, but oh my god, brother, you weren't kidding. I what? I've had my brain ah. fried by looking through the the tag section Archive. of any oh. time all day. Oh, fuck all of this. No, no, no. That's add, oh, that's hell too much yeah. Information. There are oh, too much hell yeah. four pedestals. What in the Wizard 101 is this? There are four pedestals. Square. There are, four, there are four pedestals arranged in a square. One of them. Which ones are the pedestals? The square ones. Okay. Well, those are the main pedestals. So they each have, and I am not going to tell you which one is which. You better be able to figure it out. One of them holds a flame. One of them holds the blue a one. water, one of them holds a small Yellow. whirlwind, and one of them holds a rock. And there are large runic Red. circles drawn on the floor with the four pillars at the center of them that overlap like a Venn diagram. Big enough that they all overlap in the middle with this extra large pedestal, but none of them touch the other four pedestals. These circular pillars have nothing on them. There is... At the bottom of this large pedestal, a like an an opening so it almost looks like Ooh. kind of like a gazebo type thing, but square. Um, and it's just kind of an open area. Is there anything under there? No. It's empty and open. I'm assuming. Okay. Um, is there anything else in the room besides just tiles and wall? Uh a big, big pedestal. Room. Smaller circular pedestals, the pet the element pedestals is what I'm going to call the square mm -hmm. ones. So central, element, empty, and then the circles. So 
Uh, Rex has a decent intelligence and a dis decent wisdom, and he's a druid. Does he understand what the plane elemental chaos? Yes. Do I understand the hybrid planes where fire and water meet? There's a plane of steam. Make Earth and air, there's a plane of sand. Maybe a nature or an arcana check. Your choice. Uh, we'll go in. Get guidance, idiot. <laughs> All in. Saren Ray, be upon ye. Nine. Uh, uh, no. Uh, Level nine, tragic. Sister will make that check then. Go ahead. The way I'm just gonna kill myself after flubbing what should have been my character's role. I don't know what curse you passed me, Shane. It's because no. you spec to... Moon Druid can't figure out about eh. the other. I got more than you. Eh. I mean, you know what happens when you like pour water on a fire, or you pour water onto earth, but you don't necessarily know about, like, intermediate mixed elemental planes. I'm lucky. With a nine, Connor's not going to Google the actual map of the mixed elements, uh, but I do remember most of them. Okay. Um... Well, water and earth are mud. Mm -hmm. But that, luckily, there is no pillar between them. It's just a large open area in the middle. Uh, uh, water and fire, steam. Mm -hmm. uh, you I said there's no pillar between water and earth? Oh, that... Yellow is earth, green is air. Oh, I thought it was the other way. No. No. Okay. Forgive me for thinking green would be the earth. W. W. A. A. F. Give me data! You get F! Are right, you just gonna vandalize everything I already put yep. there, Norman? Does anyone do anything that's, that's with... you doing it. Does anyone no, lay hands no. on anything? I, w I have Fog Cloud prepared. Okay. I actually did prepare it in case you can't use it. Uh, huh. Yeah, I would like to go to the middle where there's like a cross the between air and water. Yeah, I'd like to drop a fog cloud in there. This is where there is a cross cause... between everything. Um... This central pillar is the cross of all four. I mean, if you're looking for air and water, they don't technically have an intersection. Okay. Never mind. Outside of the center, uh, with I'll everything. do fog cloud probably counts as steam, so I'll do it on the fire and water then. Okay. I'll cast it on it and have a little fog bubble over it. Does anything happen? Uh, go ahead and put some sort of marker. Uh, okay. I'm gonna give this an aura. Okay. All right. I was gonna try to. Oh well. I don't think you can because right. it's not a token. I shall That'll work. make do. Ooh. There you go, that's some fun. Your Honor, League of Legends. Death. Yeah. Okay. And you are concentrating, so mark that you are concentrating. Moi, 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 moi. Uh... But does anything happen after I cast this? I'll walk up into the cloud. The fog up, cloud seems and see to be kind of sticking to the pedestal in the middle. Oh. Like it seems to almost coalesce, coalesce more so around the pedestal than everywhere else. Does the pedestal light up or anything? Yeah, it, it looks like it's lit up a little bit in the fog cloud. Okay. I will uh, emerge from the mist because it is opaque. Yep. So I had to walk in to see it. Uh, so... We, I think we just need to make blended elements on those ones on the outside. Can I make a check to understand what the blended thing of elements is? I feel like this should be easy, because I do... Make I a survival check blended. for that one. Hell You're yeah! Welcome. I'm gonna kill myself! 
kill yourself. <laughs> young get You know, young the 12 is exactly what like sister kill will yourself. say that you very much, you understand like, okay, I can make mud. I can make ash or dust or something like that. Because 12 is the same as what sister got. Ash, lamp, yams, and the lava. Connor, trying desperately to have his character understand that people are one of the blends of all the elements as his moon druid who wields all the elements and eventually turns in gives the ability to change into these fucking elementals. Can't turn on his fucking brain. Level four. Level four. Simply a difference in skill. <laughs> Um, does anybody have any dirt? Would anyone uh, like to investigate you can check anything? Arca's boots. Uh, Arca, you have any mud still on you? Any boots or something? Check his boots, kind of kick them off, try and knock some... Kick the, kick the flakes onto the podium between earth and water. The, the, the one between the blue and the yellow. I mean, I don't think it's really mud anymore. It's well, we probably... can add water qualified as dirt at this point yeah it's the earth part we can add water just we need some dirt cleans off his boots walks over there drops it on the pillar <laughs> just spits on it together he spits on it i was about to say it sounded like someone went like spitting <laughs> yeah he spit on the dirt and mixed it together mixed so it's it together mud. it's mud it lights up uh someone put a marker on there there you go, there you go. that'll work that one does not need an aura, it's just mud. What the fuck mud. is earth and air? Uh, don't be meta, don't be meta, don't be meta. Can I roll it? He said sand. Oh yeah, that's it. I mean, I there is a difference the between- Listen, symbol. there is a difference between I know this because I know the intersection of those elemental planes in D&D &D versus, well, in the desert, there's a lot of fucking sand because it's windy and there's rocks. This bitch windy. So how are we going? Does anybody have a test? Do you have a, a river rock by any chance? Would anyone like to Walk investigate over to anything? The air and fire. Just cough a little bit of my lightning on it. <laughs> Bakers will investigate the air pillar. The air pillar. See if it's like if if you can mess with it or pick it up or anything. Make an investigation oh, check. Stuff on it. So With guidance. Thank God they moved on. My river rocks are safe. <laughs> uh, I will need to do the guidance modifier later. Uh, D4. You don't uh, notice anything specific about the air pedestal, but something is drawing you towards the central pedestal. There is that open space in the middle. You said there's small pieces of the elements on the elemental podiums, right? Yes. Can I get a, a, a piece of the dirt from the earth pillar and then just grind it down to sand, to powder? Sure. And then I'm doing that obviously over yep. the mixed one. Put a marker. It's small, it's coarse, and it gets everywhere. <clears throat> it's rough and irritating. Does it light Sis up? Yes. Oh. With the sand, it does. Sister will light a torch mm -hmm. and put it on this one. A lit torch does not seem to do anything. I will tap it to knock the ash off of it. The ash will do something, and that pillar will light up. You seem to see each of the worked. circles, the light <laughs> from each of the connected circles starting to draw towards the center, and the light is coalescing below the central pillar, which is not lit up. I go stand in the middle. There is, there seems to be in that central space, the empty space, it's almost like the light is trying to reach there, but it can't. Hmm. And there's like a podium to put something? It's, so there's the central area, um, and that is, that does seem to be the sort of podium space, for lack of another one. 
Can I take out a little wildflower, wildflower seed, druidcraft it to bloom, and set it in the very middle? You can. Nothing happens. Mm, okay. I thought some druids believe that you know, the balance of nature is sustained by the four elements being in perfect harmony, so I thought that might be triggered. Silly do you take the wildfire out of works. do you take the wildflower out of the center? I do. Are you thinking of anything when you take it out? Uh, I mean he's disappointed that it didn't work. I mean he's th he's thinking about the uh theory he was talking about, the the uh, idea that the four elements harmonize together, thinking about the murals and stuff where he learned this stuff. You're thinking about a mural. The one from his home. As you draw out the wild flower, you see a very small depiction of the mural as though it were carved onto a, a block of wood fall into your hand. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, it's creating things. I think of an exit. The exit door. Nope. Nothing happens. Oh. Uh, the element's also there. It didn't use it up, did it? No. They're still there, and it did not use it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I placed my hand in the middle again. Mm -hmm. Is there a keyhole? There is not a keyhole. I think of... And you said thinking of the exit door doesn't do anything? Thinking of the exit door does not do anything. I think of a... Mm. Mm. Is there anything else in this gazebo? Can I get more information on it? This is the intersection of all four elements. Um, probably the easiest way to get more information on it is to... Uh, think a little further back in the puzzle. Don't try and assume that you're already at the end. I think if you think, if, if you were using this ability earlier in the puzzle, what would you think of? Uh, mixture of all four elements. Mixture of mud, sand. Okay, you think of mud. Steam. Mud appears in your hand. I then think of sand. Sand appears in your hand. Do the other ones disappear after I do this? Uh, no, you are able to remove them from the center. I'll think of ash. I think of a big fat. You think of ash, diamond. and it appears in your hand. <laughs> what did he just say? So I think, I think about... of a big fat fucking diamond. <laughs> is your hand in the center? Yes. <laughs> there is a large, what appears to be a gem. Looks like a big fat fucking diamond in your hand. I'll stick that in my pocket. All right. <laughs> uh, Do I then... need to put that on my in my inventory, or can I just <laughs> assume I it's going to disappear it. on me? <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> well, I've got the other three powders mixed together in my hand. I think of fog, and then <laughs> as it's appearing in the middle, I'll just pour them into the middle so that it's all mixed together. The light is getting closer. But it seems as though there is... It's looking for something more. Uh, let's see, do I have something sharp? It, it seems like what you've done is you've taken... Um, so I guess the best example of this would be if you're mixing colors. You can mix mm -hmm. red and yellow to get orange. Mm -hmm. And that would be, so if this is red and this is yellow, they're not. But then this would be orange. But you're not taking orange and purple and green and the other colors and mixing them in the center. You're trying to mix everything at once. One step. Hmm. Uh, I'd like to uh, just nick my finger with my scimitar and drop a little bit of blood into the pile. Okay. Anything happen? The exit opens. Ha-ha! Ah! 
if all was four, that the actual solution that don't make so no sense if basically the essential the essential solution of the center was some form of life oh the seed didn't count Mm-mm. that's why i didn't go the anywhere. seed was essentially uh the combination of earth what you need for that is earth and water and air mm. you don't necessarily and need sunlight and fire eh. 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 looking you more for like concrete like human life humanoid life yeah sentient life let's say plants is good but you it's like why did connor work <laughs> yeah shut the fuck You're up welcome. speaking of sentient life Tess, are you still with us <laughs> <laughs> uh, sister, My brain is slowly roll me a D two. Air itself. Sister, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You already know. Can you get me? <clears throat> it didn't. Right. One. <laughs> it didn't. Archive the element room. Tragic. Uh, oh man, of course I get the cup room. <laughs> when I'm gone. <laughs> this room is All empty. Right, which one's the holy except, grail? Shut up. This room is empty except for a small table in the middle of the room. On the table, there are. Oh, sorry. There's supposed to be six. I don't know why I kept there doing five. Another. There's six. There is another. I had to space them out better then. Sorry. Can you just move the... Okay, never mind. Because they were on the lines before, and now they have to be in the actual boxes. There we go. That's better. Sorry. They're not as pretty as they were before. But there are six identical goblets. What would you like to do? Uh, investigate them, see if there's anything... Like to look at the them. goblets? Uh, by looking at the goblets, you notice that each they each contain a differently colored liquid. From left... To right, they are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. There is a message etched into the table that says, drink from the green cup. Yeah, purple and then blue is the last two? Blue and purple. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, make sure it should be seven. You should have a violet cup. Nope. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> then there wouldn't be purple. Roy G. Biv. Right. There's no purple in Roy G. Biv. Indigo, it's indigo violet. and violet. I didn't want indigo and violet. I wanted purple. I will take. A, I will pick up a green glass and go. If it's poison, I probably stand the best chance of not dying from it. So, uh, Liv, is Liv there staring like the, uh, at you as a machine? <laughs> Rex, not. Hey, oh yeah, you're right. You probably don't. Oh well. Did and you? And the paladin staring at you. Did you drink the whole thing? <laughs> Yeah, he took a sip of it. You took a sip of it? it? So about... it. They're kind of small. They're like little... Like small cups. Um, so you drink about half of it. Uh, Rex, you see a door. Aha! I go towards the door. You can go through it. I go through it. Uh, you all see Rex disappear through the fucking wall. <laughs> oh. He's a these got uh Roy B and P are full. G is half full. Hey, how to get in, the, in this place? Where the fuck? Oh, is this place? I get the puzzle. Unfortunately, you're out of the room. You can't uh -huh. help. I won't, but I get it, and that's pretty clever. Uh, Hark is gonna walk over uh, and say, "Hey, you take a sip out of green. We'll mix the yellow and the blue together. Get more green and drink." Uh, okay. Who's drinking what? Tess, go. Tess reaches for the purple cup. Not purple, dipshit. Green. Do you drink the purple before Smash he's able to stop you? Yes, uh, uh Tess eyes the, pur the purple drink from the fridge. I love lean. Do you drink it? Do you? I drink it. Make me a constitution saving throw. Yeah! <laughs> I love lean. I should have prepared command just to tell you to stop. I fear no god. Okay, con save. Thank con you. Con save. <laughs> oh, 
Pyro, I understand okay. you're bored, but there's no reason to derail the game. Shut the fuck did up! You try to, <laughs> did you try to drink the whole thing? <laughs> Uh, our local, hey, our local dungeon barrelers. Yeah, hang on, shut the fuck up, shut up Norman, you rat bitch! <laughs> Did you call him a rabbit? <laughs> you were my brother, Harker! <laughs> my, my allegiance is to the game. The democracy. And as barreled us into an almost TPK, eat the fattest dick. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say you drank the whole thing. You shrug off uh, the effects of what you realize are truth serum. Oh, I do that anyway. <laughs> Nothing changed. If you had failed, you wouldn't have knowingly been able to speak a lie, as if under the effect of the zone of truth spell for an hour. Oh, I wonder that... if you know that. <laughs> I often test lies to people, I guess. <laughs> I don't. I just say stupid shit. If that one's empty. Completely believe it. Well, that, I guess, th did it work? No. I was paying attention. I, I, I was just thirsty. Hey, Chris, if you want to drink the rest of the green. Okay. Hey, Chris, we'll drink the green and walk out the door. Yep. And then we need to mix yellow and blue for more green or... Who are you asking? That's how colors work. Well, can we actually pour them out, or do we just drink some of each? Well, we have a color empty picker cup issue. now. So I we'll pour half the cup of yellow, half the cup of blue, and that should make green. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? Yes. It looks very green. It looks as oh, green as the green good. before. <laughs> and there are now two servings right. of green. Before you uh, then drink I'll anything pull, other than pull green. Into yellow, so we have two full cups of green. And yes, I will take a drink. <laughs> and walk out the door. Which cup do you drink out of? Oh, it's that picky, huh? Uh... I would have poured it into yellow, blue into yellow, so yellow cup. You don't see it, or there's still one serving of it left, though. And he'll go, oh, that picky then. Someone drink out of the green cup. Ends yeah. it to Tess before you drink mm. anything else. Oh, but I wanted some blue. No. Okay. Jug. <laughs> the blue is already the gone. Blue is the blue empty. is already now in the green. <laughs> so technically, I drink the green. You see the door, and you may go through the door. Um, I'll trust that door. Off you go. I go to the door. <laughs> Rex grabs her child leash and starts reeling her in. You have fishing rod. Come here. All right, Arca. He'll pour what's left in the yellow back into the green. Yep. So we have two more. Yep. Two more drinks, and he'll take a sip of the from the green. There's the door. Walk on out. Uh, last time I tried to um, imbue liquids wasn't very fun. <laughs> but, and she will drink it. And there's the door. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to filter it out later. Guys, destroy water on yourself. Mm -hmm. So, I have questions about this puzzle once it's over. It's over. They're all out the door. So what I was have a it? feeling you just needed to drink from the green cup. Did, I was <laughs> going to say, does it matter what color the liquid is as long as you get it from the right cup? Uh, no, it did matter. You did have to mix yellow and blue. Okay. Uh, I realized as I was reading it just now that I forgot to put down what orange was, but I had purple and red written down. Uh, red was assassin's blood. <laughs> What's assassin's blood? Poison. Poison. I yeah. thought it was going to be a health poison, and I was going to suggest if somebody was hurt to sip on it. Good thing that didn't happen. No, that was, you would have taken poison damage and been poisoned for 24 hours if you'd failed your save. You stole the liquid. Uh, I forgot to put something for orange. Um, if you had attempted it's to drink the whole cool goblet it. at once, it would have refilled once. It's just... Uh -huh. uh, uh, Which would have then hopefully had the it. second person drink the oh, whole God. thing again and then be like, why isn't it refilling? 
Uh, there okay. was an anti-magic field surrounding the table, so if you tried any sort of identifying it or removing them you from a five-foot radius, you mm -hmm. wouldn't have been able to. Mm -hmm. Extra spicy. Also, so... Norman, I have to say, we still have one more room, but Norman, I have to say, I immediately messaged Connor as soon as you were like, we have to mix them, and I was like, I'm so proud. He got it right away. No hesitation. You want to know why I know those two colors together make green, and it's not color theory. Is green Gooba's favorite color? No, because uh, toilet bowl cleaner is blue, and when you pee in it, it turns green. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, someone doesn't drink his water, I guess. <laughs> That's such a Norvin and Harka thing to say. Oh, yeah. I can't wait till we're talking to Sehanine or whoever, and they say, Great champions, please tell me how you unraveled it. And he's like, ah, yeah, The orb. The orb. The orb. <laughs> If you'd like to place yourselves in this room. Or time to ponder. Time to ponder. Oh, oh yeah. This there is, is nothing in this room except this large orb. Tess, are Tess you touching the, the orb? orb? I touch the orb. The, uh, a loud alarm begins to sound. And you hear what sounds like a ticking noise. I grab her and pull her off the orb. Is there still ticking? Can you not hear me ticking? That's so sad. It's no, still ticking. No. That's so sad. I was making the noise and it didn't work. Shit. It's still ticking. Uh, there's no nothing in here but the orb, right? There is nothing in here but the orb. And the ticking noise the and the alarm. Uh, I, I'm going to attack the orb. You, attack, you touch the orb? Yes. Primal savagery. Strike at it. The alarm is still sounding and the ticking is still happening. Does he have a mark on it? Shit, no. Shit, shit, shit. Is there anything else in the room other than the orb? No. Yeah. <laughs> Did it feel like you, you damaged it? No. no. Uh, hammer time. Okay. Uh, well, no. You. What kind of damage is your primal savagery? Acid. 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 So I'm just gonna try good old bashing. Bludgeoning. Nothing happens. Oh, big boy. Are my hands numb? A little bit, yeah. Like it from like the vibration, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah. yeah. Ow, fuck. Uh, that's not it. Quick test. Make the noise back at it for the alarm. Start screeching back at it. She's not <laughs> a crow. <laughs> Hey, Chris. <laughs> hey, Chris will start chirping at the alarm. <laughs> Make me a performance <laughs> check to see how well you do. <laughs> and mimicking the alarm. Performance check to see how well you adapt to the micro aggression. Hey, Chris is not very well. Not really micro about that. This is like a. It's not a bird chirping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it again. You wanna touch it again? Stop it! Stop it! Alarm is still going. Ticking is still happening. Smack. Again? Oh, that's all I got! Mm, you don't have silence prepared, do you, uh, Shane? I do. Drop the king! I probably don't have time for a ritual cast. You don't hear anything. Uh, I think that just helps our ears. You still have a little bit of an ominous <laughs> After feeling. Up. <laughs> it's it is for radius sphere center on that thing too. Once you get out of the sphere, it's still going on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Can I li try and lift the orb with Harpa's help? Make a strength check. Hey, help me, Harka. Helping. Advantage. It's you lift good. it very easily. Oh. Mm. 
you since you're within the sphere of silence, you still have the ominous feeling that whatever's happening is still happening. Is there anything below the orb? The floor. I move it outside of the silence to over here. You can still hear yeah. everything happening. What's the floor made of? Floor. The, the stone that you see on the map. Okay. Uh, does move worth while we're going to... Not against stone, no. Uh, it works on dirt or stone that you can see with the uh, within range. Okay. What are you trying to do? Well, I'm see well first I'm seeing if it works. What, but what are you trying to do? Move the fucking dirt. Uh, Move the floor. You can only excavate a loose earth for stone. You can change shapes or colors on it. You can cause it to become difficult terrain or the inverse. You can only excavate loose earth. You can't just pick up stone. Never mind. No earth bending for you. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah, never mind. Stone. We gotta shape, blind you first. <laughs> the boulder. Are you still touching the sphere? Uh, the orb. Yes. Okay. I, I'm holding it up. I try and toss it to see if it'll like crack on the ground. He just ha it, fucking hammered down. If you let it, it nothing... drop, it nothing happens. Uh, I would up. say at this point, make me a perception check. Everyone. Okay. Everyone who is not within the sphere of silence, make me a perception check. I don't have guidance. 15. Okay. Sister, you definitely hear it with a 25. Uh, Harka, you do not. Icarus, if you are still within the sphere, you don't hear anything. Um, Tess and Rex, it takes you a little bit longer, so I will say your name when you start to hear it. Okay. Sister, 49, yes. 48, 47, Tess, 46, <laughs> 45, 44, uh, 43, it's counting down. Rex, 42, 41, 40, oh, 39, 38, 37, 36, uh, 35, 36, 34, 35, 34, 35, 33, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 26, I push the orb into the bottom corner. I go in the other corner. 59, 58, 57, 56, oh. 55, 54, will try to roll 53, it just to see if it stops. If it 59, resets the 58, timer. 58, 57. He's just going to keep rolling it around the corner. The, uh, 59, 58, the room. 57. You guys think of something? I got this. Every time you 58, touch it, 58, it resets. 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, you hear like it's... a broken record. 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59. All right, guys. Think of something. I mean, what if we just let it hit zero? Well, it'll either blow up or it'll get us through it. 59, 59. <laughs> yes, make the DM keep saying it. Uh, I'm just going to add it in periodically for does spice. Does anyone else see the tiny pebble in the middle of the uh, room? Oh, uh, this is... That's where the silence is coming from. It's just oh, that's just that. It's not part of the map? Nope. Okay. For the aura okay. of silence. Is there anything inside the orb as I look into it? No. Just looks like a crystal. Like a blue crystal. Can Sister shine a light in it too so we can see it clearly illuminated to be sure? If you would like to. It is just a crystal. Shiny shine. Nothing there. Can I make an insight check? Because I'm lost. Make an insight check. The only, the only thing I know is to let it hit zero. 25. You feel like this is a trick. With a 24, you feel like this is a trick, and it's simpler than you're letting it be. I think we just let it hit zero after we touch it once. I think it's supposed to make us anxious and 59, make us frantically... 59. 59. Take 59, my hand off. 58. Everybody in the corner. Hold on. 59, 58, 57, 56, and I'll stand, 55, stand in front of them, shield out, ready to block the 52, block, whatever's coming 51, out. 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 
34, if 33, nothing happens 32, with this, I do 31, have an idea. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 24, mm. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, well, we really 16, have just pushed it into 15, the 14, 13, so 12, this. 11, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The alarm stops, the ominous feeling fades, and the door opens. Hey, that's my personal favorite. I see that puzzle everywhere. It's so much better in person where the DM can just keep turning an hourglass and just keep restarting it and say nothing. <laughs> but I did have fun with that one. I just had the timer up on my phone. Every time you touched it, I was like, reset, reset, mm -hmm. reset. All right. Uh, well, first of all, um, it's only 819, so I would like to have it on record that I asked Connor yesterday, is five puzzles <laughs> too much? And he said yes. Puzzles take two to three times longer than you'd think when we have to cooperate. And I said, good, two sessions of puzzle. I prepared <laughs> six puzzles, and you guys got through them in an hour and 20 minutes. So kudos to y'all. Big props. Um, <laughs> you very. This is kind of also on Saturday. So, uh, I'm gonna ask you guys to give me Thank like ten minutes while I prepare a map for <laughs> the top, because I'm not gonna make more puzzles. He's better at giving clues than you. Huh? Wow. Wow. I got all of my stuff from the internet. I didn't make my puzzles up on on my own. I'm not good at that. Wires. Connor got puzzles from a uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a toddler mm -hmm. website, but he was so bad at explaining them mm -hmm. that we couldn't figure it out. Mm. I copy pasted yeah. all of my stuff because I'm also bad at visual, stuff with my own uh, works. Visual shit, Connor. I'm just fucking with you. I'm <laughs> not absolutely serious. Listen, I will Your also say just fucking harder. the only reason that these maps look good is because Connor gives me access to his incarnate. So thank you, Connor. You're welcome. I do. I, it is funny that you didn't. But normally you tell me like, "Hey, don't open your incarnate." Normally you make something that's like a spoiler. Like, "Hey, don't open that." I, that I, one I did for the the last one because it was a big long maze dungeon that you, you would have, figure it out. Though? Everything else yeah. was just like the base How maps. Have you said it. Well, two years now. Did you want the link? I, I've okay? had it. No, I've had it for a, a long time, and I offered you guys when I first got it. If you ever needed to make a map, I think that was when I was <laughs> still very much like not making maps, and I use it very, very rarely. Um, I used it for the uh, mask dungeon, uh, where I basically translated something I had Don John make for me. And before that, I used it to make stuff for the Earth Stars Grove. <sighs> or no, I made the warp. I, I made the warp wood tower. That was the last thing I made in that before. So it's it had been it had been a while. I'm not a big map maker. I'm better at interpreting things into maps than like creating maps from scratch. If that makes sense. Like I've said with Connor, I'm a bard. He's an artificer. I'm an interpreter. He's a creator. <laughs> Uh, give me like 10 minutes. I'm a hammer. Yes. Give me like 10 mm -hmm. minutes. I'm gonna pause the recording. Fighter. And I'm gonna set up the next part because I was thinking okay. we would get to that next week. But I will. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. That, that does make Pyro's DMing style sorcerer or warlock. Yeah. So welcome back. Um, <laughs> the break was a lot longer than we intended. I've been sitting here on the map for like 20 minutes while we talked about unmentionable things. Um, they solved my puzzles, oh, and I'm very proud of my players. They solved my puzzles, and, and you reached what you gather to be the top floor. It's like a temple observatory. I've seen this somewhere before. Yes, it's called I Got It on Google Images. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen it lots of places before. Just be thankful I didn't yeah. reuse the Elastray map from Mama Moon Temple. <laughs> 
That's Mama Luigi to you, Mario. Word up. Uh, so we enter into the bottom? Sure. Right. It's magical entrances. Honestly, shot. it would kind of be funny if all of you came from a different entrance, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter what way you come from. It's a magical and this temple. This is a reminder. This is a temple to Sehenin the Moonweaver. Yes, Sehenin the Moonweaver. Good night. In the best. Yes, 1048. Night, night Pyro's dad. dad. Your son's a degenerate. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Oh Pyro, Pyro, Pyro. Oh god, yeah, he has family here. Pyro. Did your dad say it's 1048? I, I thought I made it. It's, clock it's not. I already, he's, he's fucking with me. I, I don't know. Okay. Mm. I was about to say, I just, I, not so much for you, but I needed to make sure that he did not think it was 1048. It doesn't really matter. I'm our alarm clock. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Rex is going to, uh, in quiet reverie, quietly approach the, what I'm assuming is a statue. Yeah. That is she. That is the she. He stays standing looking at it. So, uh, Moonweaver. How does it work? I've spoken to the actual moon. Do you just, like, steal her brand or get it on weekends or something? Are you talking about the powers of the moon like it's a divorced couple? <laughs> well, I mean, there, there is there is literal embodiment of the moon, and then there's a, quote, moon weaver. So it's like if you were Sister Liboria, cleric of light, and then I was the light weaver. You know, it, it feels like it's kind of stepping on some toes. Shadow weaver or something. Venus. Did, did she respond? No, that was me making a She-Ra joke. Are there two tests? Uh, Which one's real? Take that ugly bitch and throw her in the interdimensional rift. What? My homies hate Shadow Weaver. Shadow Weaver? Ign d ignore, ignore us. Ignore us. <laughs> We're not saying important things. Tess, why are there two of you? When do we? What? There. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's a, uh, a second one. Long as you're second. aware. Stop making shit. For true form, Sahanine, it's too horrendous. Oh, wait, no. Oh, Does Sahanine ever show up as I'm kind are of antagonizing you? her? Well, you're also kind of talking back and forth to sister at this point as well. You spoke yeah. a little bit, and then you started having conversation with sister. I tap on the statue. To, like, I'm knocking on the door. You there? Hmm. Well, she's dead. <laughs> We're too late. Stick your hand on it. No, I don't think I will. Oh, for the love of fuck! I go over and, and, and smack the altar. The stone is cold. I love peeking. Like it would be, because this is kind of outside. It's like a rooftop. Open Wait rooftop. a minute! Whoa. It, is there a skylight? There's in the, open, sort of... in the it... open rooftop? Yeah, it's just a really big one. Yeah, it's a really big skylight! I knew that. Uh, what time of day is it, or is it night? Nighttime. Son of a bitch, where's the moon? Uh, you, uh, okay, I'm gonna admit, I have been a little bit lax in calculating my days, but I think where we were before, I think it's been about a week since I was... I, I didn't ask for the phase, I asked for where was the sky. <laughs> that will, the phase will kind of affect that. Well, good. Now I know. Okay, that. we should be probably we shouldn't be any further than the first quarter. Um, it would be okay if you hold your if you hold both hands like directly above your head, and that's twelve. It would be at like ten. What? 
I don't, I really don't know how well, okay, so like. I'm going to cast Moonbeam below the statue. If this is 12, if you're looking up at the sky right ahead of you and this is 12, it's like over here at 10. This is I don't know how else to describe uh, it. There's Moonbeam, you cast Moonbeam, moonbeam. The, the statue. It's very pretty. Yeah. Would you like to put it on the map? Sure. It's very pretty. It almost seems to like highlight the statue in this ethereal sort of glow. Mm. I'll move it over, try and uh, like tap it on other things, move it over to the light well. Move it down here to this little ritual circle. Look out! There's my fucking sky laser goes over. Do any of you do anything? Icarus or Harka? No. No. Do you have any more conversation no, amongst yourselves? No, his thing. Where is this bitch? Well, it looks like... Something's happened. If this is even where to talk with her. Is that a doorway back there? Or is it just the end of the hallway? Or end it's of the like room? more, you gather that basically like any way out of here is probably going to either lead you back into one of the previous trial rooms or out completely to the, the entrance. Because huh. weird magical puzzle trials. I'm kind of interested on how this one is spitting out light and that one's all dark. Would you like to investigate? Sure. Go ahead and give me an investigation or perception check. Or perception? Yeah, it'll just give you different one. answers. Um, you can vaguely see that it, it almost looks as though um, the moon is shining in from this direction. And just the way that it looks like, it looks like this is sort of reflecting light off of the back, whereas the moon is behind this. But it does ha seem to have a. Water? Hmm? Sorry, go ahead. It does seem to have a slightly like moonstone reflective surface as the back of this statue. What's up with the water? Uh, it looks like a reflecting pool. It could also possibly be used as a um, divination fount for scrying. Hmm. I'll place my hand into the water and say, what happened here? What do you mean? Haha. Uh -huh. There you are. I was worried we were too late and something had happened to you. Despite my gesturing, I, I didn't actually hope something had happened to you, uh, Miss Sahini, ma'am. I did not believe you did. Oh, well. You understandably know that I have a, a more favorite moon entity. The moon touched off in you. That, that is, a, that's the second time someone's called me that. Um, you wouldn't happen to have more information on that being the moon we were, would you? Names are all that they are. Names. The power that it gives mm. you is something you must discover on your own. And it is different for each. Mm-hmm, mm hmm It is not... So we came... Way. So we came to help protect you from these Ashen Warrior uh, threats. Mm. Uh, but it looks like they haven't gotten to you yet. I have not yet sensed their presence mm. in the air. Is there anything we can do to help protect you from when they try and show up? From mortals? I know not. Certainly one would imagine Chain that you? having the source of their power guarded by a large cadre of powerful mages would do enough. And yet what cannot be certain? I have heard of what befell my fellow on the coast. What's wrong with my thing? I can hear you you're making noise constantly, just like scratching and breathing. 
says the man who is huh. posting a, a fucking race in the background. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. No. Say it's also rolls hard to hear Liv with a soft spoken voice. But Say he rolls in on her Harley. Mm. She said, from mortals, I know not what you can do. Yeah, basically, like, I truly, I would think that having living on, like, in a mage tower, basically, having a mage tower on the source of my side of power would be enough. And yet, I heard what happened. She basically, she said she heard what happened to Mask. She said she uh, heard what happened to her fellow on the coast. Do you have any way of having a trusted guard keep watch to purify the place? Because from what I could tell, they come to seep some sort of corruption. And they tainted Mask's guardian to weaken his connection. And uh, if you had some clerics who were on the standby and ready and prepared, they might be able to come in and purify it for you. After they try things, everyone make. Uh, what is here? everyone's passive perception? Seventeen. Okay. 17. 10, 12, 17. The sound of boxes falling. You good, brother? What? Is it readjusting on my chair? That sounded like a bunch of cardboard boxes crashing to the ground, my guy. Kind of like fuck? a leather chair. Yeah. Don't believe him. I, Is I anyone better than a seventeen? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say about seventeen? Does anyone have a better? You you are the seventeen. Does anyone have a better passive than a seventeen? Yeah. I doubt no. it. No. no. <laughs> okay. The four live. Uh, sister, you are the first to notice. Uh, what appears to be a at the bottom of the scrying pool, a faint blue light, and it's growing closer, larger. Uh, is that your doing? No response. Uh. Maybe we were too late. What you mean? I'm talking to her. She, she... There is something in that pool. And it's getting closer, you said? Liv? It is getting closer. And it is getting closer still. You would pick it up now, uh, too, looking in it, especially with your attention being drawn 17. to it. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I will... I will put some of the moon water into my water skin just in case. Uh, and I will back up. Be prepared for something nasty to pop out of there, folks. May on guard. That Take sickly up the blue position. light has now overtaken the entire pool and almost begins yeah, to like seep other. out. Like, like light radiating, but it almost seems to seep out like a fog. Hmm. And emerging. Oh, I'd like to move my moonbeam next to. Well, it's a little late for me to say that, but. Move a little bit. Can I move it just a little bit closer? A little bit closer. Like, they're good? That's fine. And uh, yeah. I think it's time to roll some initiative. <laughs> I'm assuming I couldn't hold Fuck my action for me. Bonk when those things popped up. No. Right? If you did not declare it before, <laughs> no. I tried to, but I was muted. Oh. oh when were you trying yeah, to say it? My bad. I just wanted to hold an action to bonk when those things pop up. But what, were you saying that when the light was getting closer? Yes. Then I'll allow it. Okay. I know you do That's tend out. to accidentally mute yourself. This is not a new thing, so. Right here. Yep. Go ahead. Where the fuck are you? There you are. 19, that should definitely... Mm. Yep, 19 will hit. 13, okay. I added... Oh wait, uh, let me double check something, it's been a minute. Music ...to the battle music tab. Okay, nothing about that. If you cool. want to use that one or a different one. I did, let me look. Battle music, which one? What am I looking for? The one on the, bottom, the very bottom I just had to... Yes. Be. 
That is uh, that's not it. Not what I clicked on. <laughs> I gotta find the new one for the the newest trial because that trial music slapped. I just played through that today, and damn. Uh, okay, that should be everybody. Sort Icarus. I will move up to here and then attack. Oh, yeah. 18 just hits with a 16. Very nice. It's looking pretty rough. And then mm. I will back up one. God, I love swashbucklers. All <laughs> right. And that'll be my turn. Uh, that will be your turn. At initiative count 20. Let me go ahead and roll his initiative. See where he shows up. 20. 20. So he goes ahead and goes. Sort, sort. Well, it's fuck. still with the weird name. I don't know why. Doesn't really matter right now. I'm the only one that sees it on my initiative counter that it has the weird name. Uh, I'm just happy my name isn't Mr. Hands. Let's just beat 60 feet. And go up to Sister. Right over here. Shit. Uh, do do. That is... Is that 20 feet? I don't think that was 20 feet. I think it... Movement-wise, it was... Oh, no, it is 20 feet! Unfortunate! That is a trampling charge, so let's... Have a hooves. Yeah, I'm gonna ward and flare that. That's a... Is it disadvantage or a reroll? Yes, okay. disadvantage. There we go. Uh, but it can still... Oh, no, it's if the target is prone. Never mind. All right, that is its turn. It is the animated armor's turn. This one is gonna... Take a McWhack, uh, two McWhacks against Harka. McWhack. That hits. And McWhack. That uh, hits. 17? Yeah. Oh. I don't use a shield. Oh, that's right. Uh, it's that one's turn. This one's going to roll up on Rex. I'm not the tank in this group. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Two on Rex. One. Let's, nope. Let's test that there. Yes. There it is. Oh, yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Hit him in the jaw. And then jaw. he's going to move right up here. So that his friend can go over here. Hmm. Two on Tess. Miss. And miss. Get fucked, idiot. Get fucked, idiot. Uh, that is their turn. One, two, three. Harka. Harka's going to... Do a vow of enmity on the horse asshole. Okay. <laughs> Take a step up. I'm still single swinging, right? I believe yeah, so, so yeah. Uh, what is my vow of enmity? Is that a. Uh... It's advantage, I think. Yeah, it's, it's advantage. It's advantage on all your hits. Is it. A, uh... I think it's channel divinity, yeah. Bonus action. Yeah. Oh, bonus action. Bonk. 15, Fifteen will hit. Twelve. Gonna blow a uh, spell slot for a explosion. Okay. Nice. Does he get next to the eight? Nope. Am I rolling two d eight or three d eight? Two d eight. It is neither a fiend nor an undead. Nice 11. fucking roll. That downs it. Where's oh. the sticker? That was uh. Scoot. Easier than I had anticipated. I didn't do that. Fuck you. Go back Much easier than I had anticipated. All right. <clears throat> That's my turn. All right. I'm going to take that blue. No, no, I'm going to leave the blue one. All right. Tess. Tess is going to disengage. Okay. And... Right on that ridge there. Okay. And then immediately going to action surge. Okay. Rangers don't have action surge. Kill yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> high five, Norman. Yeah. Young man, kill yourself. 
and then I'm going to immediately fire on the armor not next to Rex. Okay. Well, actually, I'll have the one in front of me in case he wants to maneuver. Okay. Uh, and just clock this off. And then I will fire my bow. 19, uh, 19. will hit, yep. Alright, then I will ma activate my handy dandy magical button. And not use the new shot because that will actively blow up Rex. Please don't. And we don't want that. <laughs> and we don't we don't want that. So instead of using explosive shot, I will use banishing shot. Give me a charisma save. Okay. Candy Easy corn time. Nope. Fails. Popping it into, into confetti. Yeah, it has a it has a charisma of one, guys. So it's banished hmm. for till the end of your next turn. Uh, I believe so. Let me just poke it out. At the end of its next turn. Okay, got it. One, two, three. All right. All right, that's me. Okay. Uh, Rex. On my turn. The one with the red dot is not there. Right. I believe it's an action to move. I'm gonna put it purple, actually. Uh, moonbeam, right? I don't yeah. recall. Look at the spell. Okay. Bonus action. I'm gonna become a wild bear or a brown bear, a large. Uh, Cute. Then, action, we're gonna move this one to here. Okay. Uh, actually, we'll move it to here. We're gonna I say. Let's <laughs> say wisdom save or con save? Con, con save. save. I'll roll the damage. 19. So, 8. If he's a shape changer, he has disadvantage. Even though he passed anyway. It has false appearance, but that is not no, shape changer. It's, yeah, no. Uh, it's just uh, whether it looks like action. real suit of armor or not. And then I will step here, and that'll be it. Okay, sister. Okay, good. Second level. Just a reminder, <laughs> he's not here. I know. Okay. Bless. Oh, it's blessed. Never mind. Everyone other than sister is blessed. Hashtag blessed. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, really? Hashtag blessed. Do bless it. Bless me, father. Is it your turn? Yes. Okay. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned, and I will continue to do so, because God doesn't exist. Bless me, Mommy! Um, I will come over to this one, flying five feet in the air. Nice. And I will attack it. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep, that downs it. Do -do 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 -do. With four hit points remaining. Uh, Icarus, can you get out of the water? Hmm. Yes. He's and bathing. He's moving back. back. He was just kind of little talons, just barely skimming it. Well, if something rises out of it, I'd rather you not be there. Which is a good point. And that'll be my turn. At initiative count 20. Uh, actually... It loses tiebreakers generally, so the horse would go first. The horse is Maybe dead. The horse is dead. I don't mind. Oh, shit. Hmm. Let me go ahead and roll his initiative. That is 14. So before oh, so the Ashen animated now. armor. <laughs> so he goes right now. Oh, does yep. he? Doesn't he just? Fascinating, isn't it? Did you look it? at the time? Hmm. 
It's to gonna get draw its short sword and uh, receive the bird from Harka. Fair enough. It's gonna come charging its sister. Fuck. Yes. One. Throwing flashbang. Okay. <laughs> That's only for the one attack, right? Yeah. A two-hoo! <laughs> that one misses, though. A three! Mm. That one hits. A three! You see her raise up her palm to flash his first attack, which he misses, and she dies it away for the second, and then he just shanks her right in the stomach. Oh, yeah. Uh, now it is the it Ashley an Animator Armor's weapon. turn. This one is going to be going up. Uh, it has to make the con save, which it fails. <laughs> Roll the damage or use the 16. Oh, uh, I'll roll again. Okay. Mm. Oh. Four. I mean, it's only fair. Let it not be said that I offered. Yeah, it's oh, only wow. fair that I have to reroll. Yeah. But also, that's okay. tragic. Uh, that is tragic. Uh, okay. Double slims, a one, a two. -hoo. As a bear, my AC is eleven, so the, the first one will hit. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I've got natural armor. I That's true. Yeah. Still. Okay. And that one is back, but it is it does not get its turn. Harka. Harka is going to use a bonus action to place Hunter's mark on whatever the fuck that thing is. Okay. Are you the danger? <laughs> Yes. You better be the boss, bitch. <laughs> Run up behind him. There, there it is. And bonk. That will hit solidly. 18. That's and last spell slot. Am I rolling two or three? Two. Nice. It's still up, so it's the boss. It's still up. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Tess. Ha. Ha. Shit. Uh. Hmm. I don't like this guy. I would imagine not. Actually, can I just make a quick addendum yeah. and move myself right of there? Of course. <clears throat> nice. Oh, Bluey. Uh, let's see. Uh, Look. That will hit. 30. Okay, um, let's use his charisma save too. Okay. Who's getting shot? Boss. Oh. That's a failure. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. idiot. For now. Sorry Bye. now, fuck boy! That's really unfortunate. No that is a whole turn in which you guys can't damage that creature. Damn mm -hmm. shame. It's yeah, probably we... got regain. Well, we can clear the board. Is that yeah. true? Hopefully on turn 20, nothing else is... Nothing oh, I need to make a uh, concentration. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nothing else is summoned. That was for my bless. Yeah. Yeah, my turn. Did you make it? Yeah, I think Tess, is that your turn? Yes, I say I ended my turn. You didn't say it. Uh, we didn't how, hear you. How weak is the one right. there? Uh, slightly less than rough. Okay. Uh, bear has multi attack, so it gets uh, one bite, one claw. Nice. Uh, here's the bite attack. Uh, misses. Hit. Claw. That will hit. All right, the claw does more damage anyway. Good. It's two d six plus four slashing. You got big, big, big feats. And then bonus action, I'll use one of my uses of hungry jaws to be able to make a bite as a bonus attack Go ahead. or a bonus action. So twenty two will hit. If it hit before, it'll hit again. Twenty eight plus four. Certified parry moment. Twelve damage. Parry this, you filthy casual. Uh, that takes it out. Piercing. Scoot. Cool. I will step 
Yep. Uh, I used action and bonus action. Uh, and I can't communicate, so I'm not going to say what I was going to say to Harka, but... You can say, Unbelievable. As a bear, yep. can I point? Yeah, you can point. Whether or not I he'll understand what that means. I point at the moonbeam. Cool. Okay, let me try something. Sister. Uh, let's see here. Animal handling. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you don't know Animal what the you know. fuck you're talking about. He's pointing at it. You gather that you feel a little insulted because you think he's telling you, don't go in there. Yeah, and, I, and kind of going through his head, it's like, no shit. Bear face palms. <clears throat> face paws. <laughs> Caesar. Paw. paw court. The move over. You gonna disengage? Oh no, it's gone. Never mind. Ignore you me. Vanished. <clears throat> the clear line of sight. Sister's going to brandish up her palm, and instead of the flashbang that normally comes out. A spectral lance is gonna come out. Nice. Guiding bolt. Yeet. Yeah, that'll hit. Oh, those were blessed. The, one of those might have hit. Mm. Damn, uh, I forgot. The, the, 12 the 12 would not have hit. Their AC is like 18. 18. Oh, they have an AC of 18. Okay. They're animated yeah, armor. They're, yeah, fair. they're very armored. I mean, they're that's fair. walking fine. plate mail. Also, he's now lit up. And he take eight. Yes. I salvaged this plate mail. No, they turn into ash when they die. That is very true. Fuck. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you wish. You wish you get level four plate mail. I'd, I'd be happy just with you know half plate. <laughs> Such turn. Right. That's her turn. Icarus. Icarus will. Mm. Icarus we'll see that they're taking care of that guy pretty well, so he will fly over here in preparation for this one to come back. All right. I don't know should count 20. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello, everybody. Wait, that's not... There we go. Sister just looks as these things operate around her. Ah, uh, miscalculated. It is. Um, um, the Ashen Veteran no comes back, but does not get his turn. And it is the Ashen Animated Armor's turn. I'm going to start with this one over here. It's going to go up to Harka. Oh, boys. And with advantage, two slams. One. Ouch. Oh, how lovely. And a two. That one just how hits. Lovely. Ouch. Uh, 11 plus 5. That is 16 damage. And now uh, the topmost. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and do the guiding bolt one on Rex. Make sure those. No. I think the both of those hit. With, oh no, you have hits. the so the only the twenty hits. hits. Yeah, my AC is seventeen That's fifteen. Right. By the way, not seventeen. The fourteen still so is going to miss. Yeah, but I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Now we're going to do this one means. on Sister with advantage. 15 and 22. Ooh. Hold on. Wait, just a moment. I'll, I'll take that hit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you don't know what this guy's going to roll. Black. He has two more at advantage. Oh an 11 and a 16. So they both miss. And that is Ooh. all four oh of the animated armors. It is Harka's turn. Uh, point of order. Yep. Uh, I got two temp HP from my Hungry Jaws attack, okay. so I'm adding two health back that was soaked by the damage. Rad. Just so you know what I'm doing. Just in case I didn't know anything. Got it. Yeah. Basically. Uh, going on the boss again. Go for it. Uh, 21. you have advantage because you are flanking, so 21 does hit. Plus 16. Did you roll concentration for Hunter's Mark when you got bitch slapped? Oh, no, I did not. I got bitch slapped twice, Yes, too, you so. did. Uh, I think you gotta make... Doink. Doink. Oh! No. So, keep that... Play blessed! Yes, blessed! You're blessed. blessed. You're blessed. Uh, roll that d4. Four. Roll d4. 
just yeah. make it. Just makes it. Yes. Just makes it. That's impressive. Sister winks at you as she's getting pummeled by our animated armors. Hey, I'm getting pummeled too. Okay. <laughs> Could use that flashbang, sis. Okay, so the, that one is that's your turn. <coughs> Wait three levels. Actually, I think I it's. I thought two you already levels. have it, don't you? I, have, I can only flashbang for myself once I get improved. No, can't you do player. the. That's not the one he's oh. talking about. He's talking You're about asking the for the Nova. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for that right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is my turn. Okay. Tess. I'm doing a lot more tanking than I'd prefer to do. <laughs> Get the fuck out of that. This is like a fucking variant dungeon, man. <laughs> I shouldn't have put down the enmity action. I've tanked a samurai before. Uh, let's see here. Do we have to figure out the AC for the boss? Probably right. 18 or 19. Probably 18 or 19. Probably 18 or 19. Gotta say it's 18 or 19. I'm pretty sure it's 18 or 19. No, so yeah, what do you think it is? Um, I think it's at least five. Well, probably, probably. You're not wrong. I'm really excited for you all to watch this video where I have the boss's AC pulled up and I'm just circling it with my cursor. Might That'll hit. I, I, I I've decided, for, uh, I, I've decided by, uh, violence is, is the name of the game today as I bust out power shot. Okay. What does that do? That, that, that that's my big, big like fuck you button. Uh, is that the explosion? No, it's not the explosion. There's too many friendlies in there. It's just bonus damage. It's and bonus. it'll get yeah. doubled because it's a crit. Yes, it is. So let's see here. I'm. Oh, I gotta... <coughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, that hurt. Stop doing that. You're, you hurt yourself every time. So one is two, then two is three, then four is four. All right. That makes sense. About 5d4, I believe. My, my, my brain's working. How much mana value are you dropping into it? Uh, four. So that'll be 2 plus 3, so 5, so 10d4 since you crit. Yeah, that is the last bit of my mana. So 10c is uh, a mosh pit uh, of a friend's gang getting beat to shit. Sees the boss there. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to see the boss anymore. <laughs> As she reaches in, uh, in, in, into her bag, I was saying this for the whale, but you know what? This will do fine. As she pulls out what, what appears to be a mishmash harpoon made of rock and covered in several little weird bayish scribbles that start to uh, emanate light. <laughs> <laughs> and it just launches out of her bow. And I'll, I will roll 10d4. Okay. So the, uh, that, 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 that is force damage. Mm -hmm. I would ask how you want to do so... this, but you kind of already did the whole description. Yeah, so this harpoon rams straight into its chest, slams it back into that tree, and just, if it collapses into dust, it does. It does, yeah, it collapses into dust. You're punching, you bitch! And that's me. I like that that ended, like, right at the, the lull in the music. That was poetic. Rex, mm -hmm. there's still small bitches. Uh, action to move this... Yep. There. Okay, con save for the top. Con save for the bottom. That's two failures. Yep. Mm, here's the damage. Buffering. Ten. Okay. Oh. Trying to predict it. Mm. Uh, and then bonus action. Another hungry bite. Again, is this one weaker or is the other one below her weaker? They both just spawned. Correct. Okay. Then the one that's near two of my allies. Oh, wait, that one is flanked, though. The only one that's taken a hit is the Guiding Bolt one. Well, uh, bonus action on this guy. Hungry Jaws. Okay. Uh, so that's 1d20 plus 6 plus 1d4. Plus bless. 
No. Wow. Uh, I think I... Oh, wait, no, I'm not concentrating on... Oh, you I, bite I your did, tongue a little take, bit. I did take damage last turn, but for Moonbeam, I need to roll Constitution yes. saving throw. Uh, so let me double check and make sure I actually have it. So I get a plus three in this form. You're fu uh, with bless. With bless. Yeah. Oh, thank God. There you I was go. Like, don't, 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 <laughs> I was like, don't do this too. Don't do this. <laughs> uh, so, natural one, I miss on that one. I will continue to move. So, I was here. So, I moved 5, 10. I'll move 20, 25, 30. I will get an attack of opportunity. I have 40 feet of movement, too, but yeah. I, this one gets an attack of opportunity as yes, it does, does uh, Guiding Bolt one. That's Guiding Bolt yes. one, and that's the other one. Yeah. All right. Seaster. You have flanking with both of them yep. if you want to swing. We got the conga line. Swing. Swing? <laughs> swing what? As she flails her mechanical noodle arms. Swing your mechanical little <laughs> arms. This instead, as she swing that magical privilege, <clears throat> raises her arms. <laughs> We're ready to the dawn. Okay, that's con save. In well, thirty foot radius. Okay, so that's all of them. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nobody makes oh, it. Oh yeah. 11. Jeez, Guiding Lord. Bolt 1 is dead, so unfortunately nobody got that advantage. Tragic. Oh, well. That one's still up. And these two are taking their first hit. Okay. Um, <laughs> she will... Then... Hmm... She's gonna walk this way. Okay, so that one would get an attack. They would both get an attack against you. Yes. This is the one from the that top. That one already attacked. That's true, so this that one, one gets an attack. This reaction. It's just that one. 16. And misses. Yep. And then. Boop. One more. <clears throat> I'm big enough to protect me, Big Bear. As a bonus action for Harka. Where are you, healing word? Nice. Harka, 8 HP. You just hear Sister's voice whisper in Celestial in your ear as you get healed. Well, I don't speak that language, so I have no clue what to fuck no, you me so he, oh, oh, he, oh. And Harka will look around. What? Oh. Smack you <laughs> <and> <laughs> down from behind Rex and just oh. wave to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me face like the whole vibe is just a oh. What? Oh. Oh. Icarus. Just... I don't particularly fancy being sandwiched between two of these things, so I will just move <laughs> here. You're valid for that. Well, they both use their reactions reactions already, so you can just move through okay. them if you wish. Then I will move it there. You don't get attacks attack of opportunity person. anyway, because you're a swashbuckler. I guess one of them. Uh, only one attack. of them. But yeah. um, I will attack the one that is closest to Rex. All right. Okay. That will hit plus eleven. Still up. Tragic. And then I will just move back here. There you go. Add initiative count 20. Nothing Mini happens. Miniboss 2. Nothing happens. No. Oh. I'm out of oh, do you want? Another blast. Do you want another one? No, I'm I, thought be, I thought it'd be hilarious. I gotta go to bed, woman. I'm out of mana points and gotta go to bed. Hmm. Only because he's the got the missile go to bed. is very EP. 
Only because the missile is tired, he is EP. He, the missile has had a long day of splashing ash and veterans and wants to take just a small sleeve. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the one over at the left on Harka. 21 will hit. This is also on Harka, with advantage, 22, and another crit! Yay! Mm. Harka's getting so that's fucked. 8, that's 16, wow. and I got 3 Y'all fucking... sent Thanks me things that said the enemies know what they're doing, and I said bet. Oh, uh, Hunter's Mark is gone. Hunter's Mark has been gone. No! Well, I mean, yeah, he oh yeah, you could have moved it though, that's true. I could have moved it. That's true, I forgot. Do you heal off the downing him? What? No. Do you heal that's off the Hex. No, okay. No. Oh, okay. I think. That's what I was not a warlock. Yeah. yeah, I think that's Hex. I could remember. That. All right. Uh, Rex, these next two are going to be against you. Bring it on. Miss. Yep. Miss. Yep. Fuck the loser. Yeah, I love that you say that to that one that didn't almost down your friend. Uh, Harka. <laughs> Hold on. No, I got to take six more damage. <sighs> Hello? Yeah, walk, mm. walk, into the, mm. walk into the moonbeam, accept your fate. Fuck oh, out. that's right, that's true, hold on. Half damage. Damage is... I'm working on it. Do it better. So, seven. Fifteen. Yeah. Still up, so you still have taken the six. He's gonna lay hands on himself. Good call. Good, Good call. call. Good call. Oh. Good call. It's just him, you know, pounding his chest twice. Oh fuck, that hurt. Mordecai. And he's gonna heal himself by twenty. <laughs> What's her damage? And he's going to uh, drop his maul, pull out his shield and his uh, warhammer. It's an action to draw a shield. It's an action to draw a shield. Yep. Drop. Yeah. Else, it would be absolutely disgusting to just have a shield. Just yeah. swap between it. I thought it was a bonus action. Nope. Nope. Action. All right then. Keeping them all. Okay. So you can't have a dual wielder cheese like you just attempted. <laughs> Technically, yeah. you could get cast off armor and have a shield that's cast off in bonus action disarm it, but normal shields are an action. Cast off. Yeah. Your cast off still is just using an action. I thought it was a bonus action. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think cast off for shield, armor though. is an yeah. action instead of like the five minutes or ten minutes. Armor as an action. That would be hilarious. Be like, oh, this is a cast off shield. What does it do? Unless you disarm it as an action. Oh, so it's just like a regular shield. shield. It <laughs> it's in the bargain for a reason, kid. Hey, it counts as magical. <laughs> hmm? I would just make it uh, act like a retractable thing, kind of like the pro like a Percy Jackson thing. Yeah. Anyway. I think that's his turn. I don't see it change over. I can't say anything to the turn. No, it was the the turn was the Ashen animated armor. It's you just did the. No. Oh, that's okay. Harker just, just said his healing. And... Hey, that's my nondescript parental figure. Ah! Fine, Uncle. Uh, Do we break Quirkle stand alone? Uh, this one. No. This one in the moonbeam. Yeah. Hmm. Seven piercing. Okay. Seven. That one is dead. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and Tess will run screaming at the other one. <laughs> oh, you're approaching me. Go nuts. <laughs> Give him flanking. I don't know if he can get that far. I can. <laughs> 35? No, I just... Oh, my little six isn't good enough! Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think you can get far enough to give him flanking. He can move there, and then Harker can step yes. over. She's just gonna... Uh, we just got done talking about can't, can't, can't do anything, so she's just, like, hit, hitting him with her bow. I really didn't imagine just can. Tess crawling over its back, just, ah, get the shit off me! <laughs> gnawing on its leg <laughs> literally ankle better 
Is it only <laughs> happening for me when he does that shit where it's just like it's just muffled noise? No, he's peeking, peeking out. He's peeking out. Yeah. yeah. It's I'm for trying all to us. figure out how. Is that churn? Yeah. Magic. Wish I could figure out how this um, this mic went. Pricks. So I can be, uh, fix that. Uh. First bite attack. That's part of my multi attack. Now that's with the D4. Eh, that's before the D4. Oh, D4. Yeah, tragic. Just misses. <laughs> so sad. Here's the claw attack then. So sad. So sad. You cannot uh, make it with the D4. Oh, you already have the D4. That's even worse, buddy. Yeah. And then I. Oh, do I have two or three at this level for the Hungry Jaws? Proficiency bonus. Uh, I think that's who's currently two. two. So I've used all of them. So said. Um. Then I will just stay where I am, and that is it. Okay. Sister, there's two left. Yes, there is. What spell can I do that would help with either one of them? Ah, I have a second level slot left. <clears throat> How are they both looking? Uh, this one is looking like two thirds gone. Uh, this one is looking one thirds gone. All right. Then. One beam at the top one, two at the bottom one. Okay. What? Are... This one has one third health gone. This one has two thirds health gone. So it only has one third left. I know. Do you want to do two at the bottom? I don't trust two regular dice with no flat modifier. Mm. Okay, fair enough. So is that one top? <laughs> Yeah, so okay. it's the top one. Okay. Now this is the bottom okay. one. Okay. It's nine. Oh, yeah. It is still up, and the second one down the. <laughs> yeah. That's really sad, buddy. I mean, I figured it would happen. It's just 2d6. It can hit pretty decent or pretty low. <clears throat> okay. Boop, boop. Is it your turn? No, I already moved a little. So that's a turn. Icarus, kill this bitch. Pyro wants to go to sleep. Sounds like a good deal. Uh, I'll take that deal. Damn, damn good deal. deal. I'll take that deal. I'll take that deal. Get him, Icarus. Get his ass. Sick him. <laughs> Icarus Ick will em. fly over to here. And then attack. Valor to me. <laughs> <laughs> I killed him. Good. That was a good one, Pyro. 27. Thank you Christ. You went in flames. Especially because you got the bow. 15. <laughs> How do you want to do this? You need to get hand crossbows. Uh, I can't use those. Why? I thought Rangers got that. Can you two shut up so Icarus can Why tell me how he wants crossbows? to do this? Or is it a specific thing like that? Am I muted? So... Tragic. Y'all, how did I fucking Quiet. get muted again? I don't know what's happening. Icarus, how do you want to do this? <laughs> I am going to plunge my sword into its chest, fly up about 10 feet, and then bring it back down. Nice. Short core, long bow only? Tragic. All right. And with that, we are out of combat. And so Pyro yes. can go to sleep. We'll yeah, pick up too. next week. Yeah, me All, right. Right. All right. Thanks for playing. Thanks for the puzzles. And I'll see y'all next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye, -bye. See you on a Monday.